Are you thinking about moving to the East Tennessee area and you're curious about Seymour? Well, today we're gonna talk pros and cons of Seymour, Tennessee. Okay, so first of all, Seymour, Tennessee is where I live. It is where my house is. I did not grow up there. I grew up in West Knoxville. That is what I know, West Knoxville, like in and out. I didn't even know Seymour existed, okay? So that being said, I'm saying that because it gives a context, but also I'm gonna be very brutally honest about the pros and cons, which you can probably tell I'm honest anyways, but I feel like I might get some hate from people that are obsessed with Seymour. So just want to say that disclaimer. Okay. Number one pro about Seymour is location. So as you know, as I've talked about in some of my other videos, um, location of Seymour is literally awesome because it's like Seymour, Knoxville, Maryville, Sevierville. Like it's in the triangle of really awesome places, which means it's super accessible. So like me for my job, it is a great location because I can service a lot of people in a lot of areas and I therefore get to know those areas extremely well because I'm so close to everything. Um, also it gives great opportunity, which takes me to the con. There is nothing to do there. I go to the gym. That's the only thing I do there. Like I don't, now there is a park at First Baptist, Seymour, and sometimes I will go there, but in terms of like stuff to do, there's not. Um, now, like what do I like to do? I like to be outside, I like to work out. Um, I like to like enjoy nice beverage on a patio. I love good food. Um, I love like activities, bowling, movies adventurous stuff, um, biking. So for all those things, I leave. The only, literally the only thing I do there is uh, work and go to the gym. So if you are wanting like proximity, like within five minutes or less of fun stuff to do, it's not really gonna be the place for you. Now, that being said, where do we go to do stuff? Well, it's a 20 minute drive to downtown. So a lot of times like my husband and I, we will go eat downtown. We'll go get some Mexican at Chivo or have pizza at Dazzo's or tomato head. I love it. So, good. Um, so we'll go do that. We'll go to, to see the movies. We go downtown. Now there's also Sevierville. So like if we are wanting to go on the lake, we go to Douglas Lake, which is the opposite direction. And it's about a 20, 25 minute drive. We have friends that live on the lake. We actually used to have a camper on the lake. And like, that's the thing about Seymour. Like Seymour doesn't have a lake, but it is close to either Tennessee River or to Douglas. So my husband has a fishing boat. He will often, especially in the spring and summer, go fishing on the Tennessee River. And because we are like within proximity, that's easy. However, it is not like you're just gonna pop into your car in five minutes, be at the water. So that is something to consider. So even though uh, location wise, like there's not stuff to do in Seymour, the pro is that you again are super close to everything. So let's talk about pricing and I'm going to look at my notes here because I want to not say these numbers incorrectly for you. But um, when we talk about like least expensive or if we talk in comparison, so Seymour is really the cheaper side of like a mountain view city. So that is a, a pro, excuse me, of Seymour. First of all, is that it's known for its views. It has gorgeous mountain views, lots and lots of houses. The whole front of the house is straight up mountain views. Um, so that is a definite pro. Um, and what's also interesting about this is of cities that are considered like mountain towns. So like Sevierville Pigeon Forge, I didn't include Gatlinburg in this because Gatlinburg is its own like beast. Um, it's so touristy. There's not, people aren't really going there to buy residential, like to live. So I included Sevierville, Wallen, Townsend, and Seymour. Like those are kind of mountainy esque with Sevierville obviously being like the main place. And if we look at prices, so Sevierville is most expensive at 618,000 average sales price. Townsend is 520,000, Wallen 509, and this is for the year January 1st, 2022 to December 8th, as I'm recording this, 2022. So I did averages for the year of 2022. Um, so 618 Sevierville, 520 Townsend, 509 Wallen, and then Seymour, average sale price is 386,000. 
which is a huge difference. Now context, the Beautiful obviously has multi-million dollar um, cabins. And so that is included just because you, I can't weed out like single family rental versus like what's actually a full-time, um, what somebody's using as a full-time property. However, comma 618,000, um, that's like $250,000 more than the average sale price of Seymour at like 386. So that being said, um, it's definitely cheaper in terms of what you're gonna pay for a house. And then in terms of pricing compared to Knoxville, Knoxville average price for the year of 2022 is $411,000 of an average sale price, where again, Seymour was at 386,000. So again, it's cheaper than Knoxville and Sevierville. Now, if we talk about Maryville, it is very close. There's a $6,000 difference. Maryville is actually cheaper, which I thought was surprising because I think of Maryville as more expensive. However, notice that I'm including all of Maryville, which would include both city and county. I think if we broke it down to city only, Maryville might be a, a bit more expensive, but since it includes everything that has an address of Maryville, um, the average sale price is 380,000. So again, uh, Seymour, excuse me, 386,000 average sale price, whereas Maryville is 380,000. So it is a bit cheaper. But when we looked at that triangle of Knoxville, Sevierville, Maryville, and probably it's backwards, but you know what I mean. It's in the middle. Seymour is in the middle of Knoxville, Maryville, Sevierville, okay? Um, when we look in that triangle, it is cheaper than Knoxville and Sevierville, and it's about on par with Maryville. But you know what's interesting about that as well is that Seymour, has less to do than Maribel because Maribel has a Target. They have a Home Goods. They have a mall. They have a Clean Eats. They have multiple gyms, boutique gyms. They have a big box gym, National Fitness. Shout out to National Fitness. I used to teach there. Body Pump, what? Uh, and for those of you that are like, Haley, what is Body Pump? Do yourself a favor, go look it up. And if you know what it is, stay with the fight. I used to teach body combat. Okay, anyhow, major digression. Maribel has more. So if you're like, okay, we're strictly gonna move based on price, then you probably are gonna be headed to Maribel. I mean, it's $6,000 difference, right? So what is that, $500 a month, it's cheaper? I mean, that's some nice stuff at Target, okay? Anyhow, that being said, um, so pros, it's cheaper, uh, location is great, um, views, I know I've said that, views, 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 and then also the real estate is all over the map. You could get anything, from a $200,000 house to a $2 million house. So you're gonna have options. There's not a ton of new construction, but yards are bigger. The stuff that is new construction in Seymour um, don't, doesn't really have yards, especially like the spec builders in the area, like you're not gonna have large yards. That's just what's happening these days. But for the most part, the majority of real estate is gonna have a nice yard, is gonna be, um, they're not right on top of each other. And so that's another really big pro about Seymour is it's just more spread out and it's cheaper like per yard, not per square foot, but like for the yard itself, the square footage of the lot is going to be cheaper than what you're gonna pay anywhere else. Um, so that is a pro. Now, some other cons um, is, and some people, you know how it's like close to Knoxville, Sevier and um, Maryville? Well, that means it's right in the middle of those counties. And sometimes that's a pro and a con. The pro is again, it's close to all those. And the con is that sometimes you might live in Blount County and Blount County, for example, began to allow wine to be sold in grocery stores and Sevier County did not. However, all the grocery stores in Seymour are located in Sevier County. So imagine when I went to the Kroger that's in Sevier County, that's two minutes, three minutes from my house, and I was not allowed to sign the petition to get wine in the grocery store because I was not a Sevier County resident, I was a Blunt County resident. But that's like Tennessee for you. So if you, I mean, Tennessee is like behind the times, like wine in the grocery store just happened a couple years ago. So it's not like we're really progressive, okay? So that's just a Tennessee like, con in general, but also a con about this whole multi-county situation. Sometimes that can also be negative in the sense of like, there's a specific stop stoplight, Burnett Station and Chapman Highway. And sometimes people don't wanna come service that stoplight when I say service like emergency responders because it's like, whose is that? Um, 
So that can be a con. And then other things that are cons, shopping, grocery stores, jobs, and restaurants. They don't exist in Seymour. Okay, now they're elsewhere, right? So people that are coming to Seymour live there or they retire there, which is fine. But like, you're not coming to Seymour to be like, I'm gonna get this job at this great whatever. Like you may, you know, go to Maryville for job or you may go into Knoxville, like, but you, or Sevierville even, but Seymour is not, Seymour is going to be like, you know, AutoZone, Zaxby's, Craven Wings, you know, anytime fitness or whatever. It's not like, you know, there's doctors, right? But it's not like there's, you know, big offices. There's no double weights and KPMGs and like all these big, which I don't even know if Knoxville has those. I'm sure Knoxville does, but anyhow. You know what I'm saying. It is not the place to go if you want like, if you want to be in the same city as where your job is. Now, if you don't mind commuting, you're golden. You're fine because you're so close to everything. It gives you options, right? Um, and then restaurants, like there are some restaurants. I throw major shade on Seymour restaurants because listen, uh, when I lived in Atlanta, I had access to like everything all the time and it was literally amazing. Then I came back to Knoxville and I was like, Ugh. but Knoxville is doing better. So that's why I say typically if we're going to go eat somewhere, we're going to go into Knoxville or we might go into like downtown Sevier Old Pigeon Forge because they have some cool new restaurants there. Um, but like Seymour, we're not really going to be eating there unless it's like late night coming home from the lake and we need Taco Bell, you feel me? And that's an extenuating circumstance, maybe a few too many beverages. So I might need a burrito from Taco Bell. You know what I'm saying? So I will say that I will also say shopping wise, there's not like boutiques. There's nowhere to get clothes. There are two boutiques. One is like, um, right off Chapman highway. And then there's one that my friend runs and she has it off of, uh, oh gosh, I can't remember. It's, it's like off old Sevierville Pike. I'm so sorry, Heidi. Shout out to my friend, Heidi. This is her boutique right here. Hey girl, hi, the turquoise silo. But it's all that to say, it's like, there's not, there's not where you're not gonna shop for Christmas there or your clothes there or any of those things. Like even the Kroger, it's not a super Kroger. The food city doesn't have like a clothing store. Um, so it's not, there's not, you're not gonna shop there, okay? You're gonna have to go elsewhere. You can go to the outlets in Sevierville. You can go to downtown Knoxville. You can go to West Knoxville, Bearden. You're within, you know, 30, 45 minutes to get to Turkey Creek, depending on how fast you drive. Probably 40 is more real, realistic. But, um, so this takes me back to the entire pro. To me, the entire pro of Seymour is the location and how close it is to everything else around it, not necessarily what's inside. <laughs> Which I feel like normally you're like, it's not the outside that counts, it's what's inside. In this case, that is incorrect. It's not what is in Seymour, it's what's around it. And that's why you'd move there. And again, this is my very biased and very honest opinion. Um, so those are all my big, I'm looking over my pros and cons list. And just to recap, location, location, location. Uh, it is, Seriously, you can get any kind of real estate you want all over the map. Now you're not gonna get high rise apartment condos, okay? But what I'm saying is you're gonna get any price point available with a larger yard than normal and you're gonna have great views. Um, and it's cheaper than Knoxville, Sevierville, Wallen, Townsend, about on par with Maryville. And then cons are like, what is there to do? Um, Chapman Highway, I didn't really touch on this, but Chapman Highway is the main thoroughfare and traffic on Chapman Highway can be a complete disaster. Um, mainly because people drive insane and it's like tight curves and it can be not safe, not great. Um, and then sometimes the con is like the multiple county thing. And then really there's no, there's not jobs, restaurants. Um, and there are restaurants, but I'm just saying if you are high maintenance like myself, you're going to go somewhere else to eat. Um, so yeah, those are my pros and cons of Seymour. Let me know in the comments what you think. And I hope you haven't been totally like, I'm never moving there because some people love it. Some people are obsessed with it, okay? It's just not my vibe. But like I said, it is great for like what I do professionally because it's so close to everything. So let that be your big takeaway and I will see you next time.